Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aries, how you're coming into the reading is um, main female. So you may be like the side woman or the woman outside of a connection. Um, you're not the only woman in some man's life here. Um, and you're, you're the main focus right now, but you aren't the privileged woman, the one with the title. Uh, a new pathway could be opening up for you. Also, you could just be more spiritually inclined. Um, you're trying to bring into your life what it is you want. The law of attraction um, happening for you here. You could also be seeing a lot of butterflies. You're trying to transition or trying to morph out of uh, what used to be or what the status quo used to be. You're trying to be better, you know, be best like your former first lady would say be best. Um, okay. um, you also are coming in as high honor. You're trying to take the, the higher ground, the high road. You're trying to do the right thing. I say that because you also have, I'm more spiritual than, than you. That's our problem. Okay. You could be more spiritual than this person. You could also have be more um, focused on more morals, values, morale. This person isn't. They're focused on what it is they want. And we'll talk about what they want from you in just a second. Um, it seems as if, okay, <clears throat> your person is coming into the reading as mature man. So this is an older man, older gentleman, could be married, could not be, but he wants a new start with you. He wants one that is kind of no strings attached. We're both individuals, independent. We come together, we do our thing, and then we depart. Okay. Um, what threw me was your person is coming into the reading as I am making plans for our future together. And I saw these two cards and I said, hmm, that's interesting. So I said, what are these plans for um, Aries and this person um, in the near future? And the lover's card came out. So this person wants you to be their lover, um, maybe even a second lover, um, somebody on the side. Um, because you're coming up as the number two woman. Then we have the lovers, which reduces to a six. So we do have choices. Maybe they want you to be a choice. You know, um, they want to have a sex only relationship, friends with benefits, because these two cards are very independent in nature. And the, the future plans are just that I want you to be one of my lovers in the future. I'm making plans so that we can come together and be lovers. Um, and it looks like with you, you're saying, you know, I need more than that. I want more than that. You know, I'm taking the higher ground. I'm more spiritual. I've come into a new place of being. Um, I have more self-esteem. I value myself in my body more than that. Yeah, I'm on a new pathway here. And I don't want to be a number two woman. Um, this person also knows your value too. That they, You know, if you let a person devalue you, they will. Okay. Um, the energy between the two of you is you think you're so mature, but you aren't. So it's like the both of you are kind of playing tug of war here. Like the other person thinks they're so mature um, by their comebacks or how they word things or, you know, vice versa. And this person feels like you think you're so mature also by what you've said or you haven't said or what you're doing. The inner, the overall energy is, you both need to welcome the new. If this is old energy, then it's not new and you need to welcome the new. Um, you need to practice some self care. Okay. And keep the faith that you're going to find what it is you're looking for or whom you're looking for. 
Um, there could be some body changes that have made you feel insecure. Um, drill down on that and do the work, self-care to feel better, to do whatever it is you need to, to um, you know, put time, energy into yourself. Um, if this is some past energy, this person feels like, you know, they like to come around because you give a hundred percent of you and they get like 10%. Um, yeah. And someone is saying, look, I want you as my side woman or man. And that is all. And this could be you Aries saying, look, I'm no longer digmatized. Okay. That doesn't move me. I'm, I'm more spiritual than you. That's our problem. You could have, you know, um, just ascended in your spirituality, just come to a new place of what you want. Um, someone is really uncaring in terms of not wanting to have emotions involved in this because someone's saying, don't bother professing your love. I could care less. And, um, yeah, sex magic is what I perform on you or what this person wants to perform on you. Because again, it was like, digmatized and sex magic so maybe this person knew what they were doing in terms of you know sexual activity uh, how they were doing it to you when they were doing it to you what they were saying to you when they were you guys were in the act um this person has a high level of selfishness okay um be aware of this this is they want what they want okay um they want you in the near future as a lover okay and uh, you should be aware of that. And if you're okay with it and everybody is a consenting adult, then um, I wish you well. Let's see what the outcome is for this relationship. What's the outcome? Yours was very straightforward. I like that. The outcome for this relationship. Looks like there, there's some issues, some hurdles you guys are just not going to be able to get over. Um, the outcome, the outcome for this relationship, uh, windfall, windfall of energy, good energy, money, um, new career. All right. So it looks like somebody should be focusing on themselves again. Self-care did come out. So the outcome is focus on you so that you can have this windfall of good love, good energy, good luck, good money, a new career so that you can welcome the new. And if this is not a new connection, then we know that we shouldn't even be by way of the cards entertaining it because it's not new. We need to welcome the new. Okay, look what the welcoming the new gets you. Windfall, new career. Get new coming up twice. Um, so definitely, um, this person doesn't look like they have a lot to offer. If you're okay with that, then engage. If you're not, then disengage. All links are below if you want to get your own oracle reading just like this an oracle reading is different from a tarot reading um, these are tarot cards we didn't use any we only use oracle cards so if you want to get your own oracle reading they're on sale now I will link it below go over to the website book there thank you many blessings to you take care